As Intel readies its next generation XE GPU architecture for launch, the first references of the high-end variant known as the XEHP have appeared in documents published by Intel. The Intel XEHP GPUs would be powering all the way from the enthusiast class to workstation tier graphics cards, as hinted by Intel previously. Now we've been hearing a lot about Intel's XE GPUs, but those have been mostly the low power parts derived under the XE LP architecture. Now the XE HP high performance GPUs were spotted by the tech leaker Kamachi, who found them hidden inside Intel's open source platform documents, retaining information about Iris Plus and UHD graphics as well. The up update adds a new Sostilic pipeline in addition on the EU, the execution unit, from the Gen 12 HP onwards, which is still early in development to the upcoming GPU architecture, but it looks like Intel is now moving on from the XELP and is shifting gears to the high-end measure of graphics cards. Previously released test drivers mentioned that the Intel XE LP architecture would power DG1, or the discrete graphics one GPUs, while the XE HP would power the DG2, or discrete graphics two GPUs. Now we don't know much about the DG2 tier graphics card except what was mentioned in the test drivers, so they're also mentioned there what seemed to be execution units for each respective parts. Now three parts were mentioned with 128, 256, and 512 EUs, and these can be taken from bus widths, but previous GPUs use these numbers to refer to the EU count, not the bus width. Now considering that DG1 is 96 EUs and sits around 2.3 teraflops, a 128 EU chip could sit around the 4 to 5 teraflops with 256 EUs offering 5 to 10 teraflops and 512 EUs offering somewhere between 10 and 15 teraflops of FP32 compute output if clock scales really well on the higher end GPUs. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.